So in this video, we are going to talk about the chain rule. So this is a more advanced rule in differentiating function. So let's start with exploration. So differentiate each function. If we have f of x equals x, what is its derivative? Okay, that is f prime of x equals 1. How about f of x equals x squared? So using the power rule, we have f prime of x equals 2x. How about f of x equals x plus 1 squared? Okay, so to uh, differentiate this one using the rules that we discussed uh, last time, we need to expand first x plus 1 raised to 2, and that is f of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 1. And then we can now differentiate this, so therefore f prime of x equals derivative of x squared is 2x, and derivative of 2x is 2, and for 1, that is 0. So how about this one? f of x equal to x plus 1 raised to 10. We can use the previous rules that we learned, but we need to expand this. But as you can see, the exponent is 10. It's very large. So it's very tedious to expand this expression. Therefore, we need another rule that we that can facilitate the uh, the finding of the, the derivative of the pattern function. And that uh, rule is called the chain rule. So for today, we are going to illustrate the chain rule of differentiation and solve problems using the chain rule. Let us have first the uh, key concept about chain rule. So chain rule states that if the function g of x is differentiable at x and the function f of x is differentiable at g of x, then the composite function f of g of x is differentiable at x. So meaning to say we can use chain rule if there is a function inside another function. So if you still remember the, uh, the function composition, yung f of g of x, so if that uh, that's the case, we can use the chain rule to differentiate function of that form. Also, if u equals g of x and y equals f of g of x, then the derivative of y with respect to x equals the derivative of y with respect to u times the derivative of u with respect to x. Actually, this is the chain rule. Okay? There are uh, two process in order for you to differentiate the given function. We have to differentiate the function y in terms of u or with respect to u, then multiply it to the derivative of u with respect to x naman. Let's have an illustration. Differentiate y equals 4x plus 3 raised to 2. Although since the exponent is a little bit small, so we can expand this so we can use the rules that we discussed last time. But uh, for the sake of discussion, uh, we are going to use the chain rule to differentiate then uh, this so that if the exponent is larger than 2, it's easy, uh, easy for you to differentiate function like this. So what we are going to do first is we are going to let u be the inner function. So the function inside the parenthesis, that's your u, which is 4x plus 3. And y equals u squared by substitution, right? So y equals what's your so value of 4x plus 3? That is u, so u raised to two. So y equals u squared. Then we differentiate. So therefore, uh, the derivative of u with respect to x equals four. U x. So ito yung function I consider. So the derivative of four x is four, and three is zero. So therefore, b u over d x equals four. And for d y over d u, that is. Uh, based on the function y equals u squared, so the derivative of y with respect to u equals 2u. Then using the formula dy over dx uh, equals dy over du times du over dx, we obtain dy over dx equals substitution. So the value of dy over du is 2u, so 2u times du over dx equals 4 times 4. Then 2u times 4 equals a to u. As you can see, the function uh, is expressed in terms of x, right? So therefore, we, we need to replace u by the by its value in terms of x. And we know here that u equals 4x plus 3. So therefore, we have dy over dx equals 8 
times the value q, which is 4x plus 3. This is already the derivative of the function, but if you want to distribute 8, okay, so 8 times 4x, that is 32x, 8 times 3, that is 20. That's how we are going, how, that's how we illustrate the chain. Okay, there is another way on I stating the chain rule, which is the Lagrange notation. This is uh, the functional composition f of g of x. This derivative is just f prime of g of x times g prime of x. Now, to simplify this further, we have this rule, the general power rule. So if y equals u to the n, then y prime equals n times u raised to n minus 1 times u prime. So the rule that we discussed, the, the power rule that we discussed last time is just this one without times u prime, right? But since there is an inner function u, we need to differentiate also that function. So we have y prime equals n times u to the n minus 1 times u prime. Uh, let's have an example. Uh, same example, we have y equals quantity 4x plus 3 raised to 2. So what we're going to do here is using the general power rule, bring, bring down 2, so times 4x plus 3, raise 2, so plus 1 from 2, so 2 minus 1 times the derivative of the inner function, which is 4x plus 3. Then we have y prime equals 2 times 4x plus 3, 2 minus 1 is already 1, so we don't need to write it as exponent. Then derivative of 4x plus 3 is 4. Then we have 4 times 2, that is 8, times 4x plus 3. Then multiplying this, uh, this one, we have y prime equals 32x plus 20. As you can see, we arrive at the same answer. Another example, find the derivative of f of x equals quantity 5x minus 2x cubed raised to 4. So we have a prime of x equals, so bring down 4, times 5x minus 2x cubed, raised to 4 minus 1, times the derivative of 5x minus 2x cubed, okay? Then, a prime of x equals 4, times 5x minus 2x cubed, so 4 minus 1 is 3, then the derivative of this one will be 5 minus derivative of 2x cubed is 6x squared. So we have a prime of x equals, uh, we need to distribute this to 4 to this function since uh, this is raised only to 1. So we can do some uh, distributed property distribution. So we have 4 times 5, 20, then 4 times negative 6x, negative 24x, times uh, this one, 5x minus 2x cubed raised to 3. So this is the answer. No need to uh, distribute to multiply because we have an exponent here for this expression, this factor. Another one, find the derivative of f of x equals uh, the quantity x squared plus 3 divided by 4x plus 1 raised to 3. As you can see, we have a rational function. So in here, we are going to use quotient rule. So the first we need to do chain rule of differentiation. We have f prime of x equals down 3 times the given uh, expression inner function x squared plus 3 over 4 x plus 1 raised to 3 minus 1. Then you get the derivative of the inner function x squared plus 3 over 4 x plus 1. So using the chain rule, then we have the quotient rule. Here is the quotient rule. So 3 times x squared plus 3 over 4 x plus 1 raised to 2. Then by uh, using the chain rule, uh, the quotient rule, we have vu prime minus up prime over v squared, right? So copy 4x plus 1 times the derivative of the numerator, x squared plus 3, minus the numerator, x squared plus 3, derivative of the denominator, 4x plus 1, all over the square of denominators, so 4x plus 1 is squared. Simplifying this further, we have f prime of x equals 3 times x squared plus 3 divided by 4x plus 1 squared, then 4x plus 1, so derivative of x squared plus 3 is 2x minus copy x squared plus 3, then derivative of 4x plus 1, that is all over 4x plus 1 squared. So we have f prime of x equals 3 times x squared plus 3 raised to 2, all over 4x plus 1 times, so distributive property, 2x times 4x, 8x squared, 2x times 1 is 2x, then 4 times x squared, 4x squared, 
times negative, negative 4 x squared. Then 4 times 3, negative 12. Positive times negative is negative 12. All over 4 x plus 1. Raised. As you can see, we have uh, similar, two similar factors in the denominator, right? So we have to do something uh, to simplify this number. So that is 3 times uh, by uh, quotient of a power, the power rule is a root of exponent, x squared plus 3 raised to 2, then 4x plus 1 raised to 2 also. It's similar or equal to this one, okay? Times 8x squared minus 4x squared is 4x squared plus 2x minus 12, all over 4x plus 1 squared. As you can see, we can multiply 4x plus 1 squared and 4x plus 1 squared here. So law of exponent, so since we have the same piece, we just copy the piece and add the exponent. Therefore, the final answer will be 3 times x squared plus 3 squared times 4x squared plus 2x minus 12, all over 4x plus 1 raised to 2. So 2 plus 2 here. So, so this is our final answer. How about this one? Differentiate y equals square root of 3x minus 4. Recall in our previous lessons that if we are even with a radical expression or radical function, we need to transform this first to functional exponent. Thus, we have y equals 3x minus 4 raised to 1 half. Then using the chain rule of differentiation, differentiation, rather, we have y prime equals bring down 1 half times 3x minus 4, so 1 half minus 1, times the derivative of the inner function, 3x minus 4. And thus, we have um, what happened is 1, so, okay, derivative of 3x minus 4 is 3 times 1 half, okay, derivative of 3x minus 4 is 3 times 1 half is 3 over 2 times 3x minus 4, 1 half minus 1, negative 1 half. Since we have a negative exponent, what we do is, this one, put it in the denominator, make the exponent positive, so y prime equals 3, divided by 2 times 3x minus 4 is the positive one. Or if you want, you can transform the, uh, the fractional exponent to radicals. y prime equals 3 divided by 2 square root of 3x minus 4. How about this one? Differentiate y equals 3x minus 2 times 5x plus 4 is to 2. So if we have two factors like this one, yes. uh, we need to use the uh, two. First, uh, we have uh, the product code states that you are uh, the derivative of two times p is just equal to ub prime plus v u prime. Okay, so our u is 3x minus 2, and this is our v 5x plus 4 is 2. So y prime equals 3x minus 2, derivative of 5x plus 4 squared plus 5x plus 4 squared, and derivative of 3x minus 2. Then we have capital 3x minus 2. Then to differentiate this one, we need to use the chain rule. So bring down 2 here times 5x minus 5x plus 4, 2 minus 1, so the 1 times the derivative of 5x plus 4, so 5, plus capital 5x plus 4 squared times the derivative of 3x times 2, that is 3. Then we have uh, this one happened to this. So 5 times 2, that is 10, times 3x minus 2, times 5x plus 4 plus 3 times 5x plus 4 squared. Next, we have y prime equals 10. Multiply lang 3x times 5x is 15x squared. 3x times 4 is 12x minus 2 times 5x, so minus 10x. That is 2x. Then negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Plus 3 times, we expand this one, 5x times 5x, 25x squared. Twice the product of this one is 2. 5x plus 4, 20 times 2, 40x, then square 4, we have 16. And next one, we have y prime equals distribute 10 times 15x squared, 150x squared, 10 times 2, 2x, so 20x, 10 times negative 8 is negative 80, 3 times 25x squared, 75x squared, 3 times 40x is 120x, then 3 times 16, 48. Combine similar terms, so therefore the final answer will be uh, 150x squared plus 75x squared is 5x squared, 20x plus 120x is 140x, negative 80 plus 48 is negative 
32. Okay. You try this one. Find the derivative of y equals 4x cubed minus 3x squared minus x minus 5 raised to 3. You pause the video and you try to answer. Okay. The answer is y prime equals 3 times 4x cubed minus 3x squared minus x minus 5 raised to 2 times 12x squared minus 6x minus 2. Okay, so I hope you learned how to differentiate function using the chain.